If you smushed everything oh, wow. on Earth down and down and down and down and down, <laughs> at what size would it become a black hole for Earth? Well, Earth's Schwarzschild radius is purely a gravity calculation, and it figures out to less than 10 millimeters. That size is a P. You yep, can do this about... math for anything, even yep. <laughs> yourself. But... Okay, if you did this for yourself, that figures out to about 10 to the minus 25 meters, so way smaller than a proton, which is meaningless. It's a bit like saying you could technically calculate the critical mass for one uranium atom, but physics just says, there's no way you're going to get there. Do black holes this size exist? Probably not naturally. Maybe at small masses, but anything Earth mass would require extreme early universe conditions and have likely already evaporated by a Hawking. The problem is, as Earth gets smushed, or in nature, as a star collapses, there's something that stops it. Yes, degeneracy pressure, part of quantum mechanics. The electrons in it get closer together and they don't want to be. They try to stay apart, they jiggle faster and faster. So there's a fight here between gravity in and jiggling electrons out. Jiggling, quantum jiggling, not the thermal kind. Pauli the exclusion plus Fermi pressure. And the math tells us that the tipping point in this fight is when the mass of the object is 1.4 times the size of our sun. Yes, and this is strictly for stellar remnants. Earth is no Nowhere close. About 10 to the minus 6 solar masses. Smaller than that, electrons win and the star becomes a white dwarf. Bigger than that, well, gravity wins. White dwarfs are roughly Earth size but sun mass. Against the electrons, but then loses to the larger protons and neutrons jiggling too, so it becomes a neutron star. Gravity beats electrons, electrons combine with protons and form neutrons, and now neutron degeneracy pressure takes over, with density of about 10 to the 15th rams per centimeter cubed. Then, once it gets around 3.8 times the mass of our sun, gravity wins against both and black hole. Highly model dependent and there's still a lot we don't know, but sure. So Earth can't become a pea-sized black hole because our electrons are too strong. So More that Earth lacks mass and gravity never overcomes quantum pressure than electrons being too strong, but I get the idea.